My name is Jillian with the Wizards Tower and I'm going to show you how to place an order on our online card shop. So now that you've got your account created, I've shown you how to use the wish list. So what we're going to do is we're going to start ordering some cards, let's say. Um, let's order some stuff from Dragon's Maze. This should show you everything that we have in Dragon's Maze. So you can go ahead and take a look at all the cards. You can narrow it down, so let's say I'm going to build a Simic deck. I'm going to grab some of those cards. I only want to see the stuff that's in stock. I don't really mind too much about not seeing anything that's out of stock. So we're just going to show what's in stock. So as you can see here, it'll tell you how many we have in stock and what the price of those cards are. You can click on the image to blow it up and see what the card looks like exactly. Or you can click on the name of the card and it'll take you to a more detailed explanation of what the creature does. It's a rarity, it's casting cost, creature type, artist, all that great information that you would need. Once we're here, we're going to click add to cart. Just clicking that button only put one in my account, but I'm going to get four. So I'll just click and click until I have the amount that I want to get. Now I'll just click here to go back to what I was browsing. Now often it resets your search conditions, so you'll have to change those again. Show only what's in stock. Now you can also click here and type in the amount that you want and then click add to cart. So if you know that right off the bat, without even having to click through to look at the card, that you want this card, you can always just change the quantity here and then add it to cart. So as you can see, I now have eight items in my cart for the batter increases and for the sky lasher. So what I can also do is I can click right here and see any of the cards that start with that letter. Once again, it'll tell me how much the card is and how many we have in stock. I think I'm going to pick up some for it. So I'll go ahead and add four to my card. Another option for when I'm searching up cards is I can click right here on the new deck builder search. And then what you can do with this is just copy and paste the deck list that you've made up and then hit continue. And then it'll search for all the names of the cards that you have listed there. And from here, you can just go straight to four. We have no guy stage in stock, so I'm going to add that to my wish list. Loxid and Smiter, there's one in stock. So I can pick up that one if I wanted to can add Biomancer to my wish list, Progenitor Mimic, Thrag Tusk. So this is a really, really handy feature of the website where you can basically just paste in the deck that you're hoping to create, and then from here you can go straight into buying the cards. It'll show you any of the sets that it's in, so if you look and see here, we don't have any copies of Rancor. Uh, Evolving Wilds, you can pick and choose the art that you want, so if you wanted it from Dark Ascension, or from uh, Rise of Eldrazi. All the cards that I listed in, in my deck list are all here for me to pick up. So this is definitely a great feature, and especially if you're looking to build a deck, I really recommend that you use this. It's a really quick and easy way to just go ahead and find all the cards that you're looking for. If you don't really know what you're hoping to build, but you're wanting to get some ideas, there's always our advanced search as well. Now, the advanced search does require you to be pretty specific. Um, you have to specify that you want it to be, you're looking for some magic singles, and then fill out any of the descriptors if you have any. So I'm looking for anything that's blue, a green, or multicolored, let's say. If I wanted it to have the evolve mechanic, I can type that here. And if I'm only looking for a sell price between, let's say, 10 cents, the most I'm willing to spend on a card would probably be about five dollars. And I only want to see the stuff that's in stock. I can just hit search. And this pulls up everything that has evolved in it that we have in stock. And that's between the price that I set. Cloud Thin Raptor looks good, so I'm gonna add four of those to my cart. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan of the Fathom Mage pre release art, so I'm gonna add that. So if we click on the checkout button, that takes us to the first step of checking out. 
Now here's everything that I picked out for my deck list. What I can do from here is I can change the quantities of a certain card. So let's say I decide that I only really want to run two bread for the hunt. I can update the quantities and it's updated the price of how much I'm paying for those two and it's updated here as well. So if you decide that you want to remove anything from your list, you can change the quantity like I did here for bread for the hunt or you can just take Hit the X button right here, hit OK, and it'll delete the item from your cart. You should also update the only information there. So there we go. So that's what my order looks like right now. So for my billing address, we're going to choose the address that I set up when I set up my account. It fills all the information in, and then I can just go to Save Changes and go to Step 2. I can select a shipping address. My shipping address will be the same as my billing address should all be there or I can just change it to a new address if I really feel like it but since I'm going to be shipping them to the same place it should be fine. So go to step three now I choose my shipping options. So because I'm only getting magic singles in this order I can choose Canada letter mail shipping since my items only contain magic singles. If I had purchased a sealed product or supplies, so for example if I got a booster packs or a booster box, if I picked up any binders or sleeves or deck boxes to go along with this deck, I can't use the letter mail ship and I have to use expedited parcel. Or say uh, if you live near our store in Ottawa, you can choose to pick it up at our store. Uh, we should have it ready for you within a day. So I'd really recommend this if you're local and you're wanting to come check out the store. You can always set it for in-store pickup. So since I only have some singles, I'm going to get it shipped. So let's go to step four. Alright, so from here you can play with a credit card. It says debit card, but right now we only accept credit card. So you'll just type in your information there. You can use PayPal if you have a PayPal account. If you have any coupons that were given to you, you can use this as well. Or if you have any store credit, you can use your store credit here. So since I have $20 in store credit and my payment is $18.75, I think I'll use my store credit. So there we go. If you have any comments, so for example, if you're picking up your order at the store, I'd recommend that you type in the I'll be in Friday. Thanks. And then we'll have make sure that your order is ready by Friday at the latest. Um, if you put a specific date, that really helps us out. So as you can see here, since I've got the 100% off on the Canada letter mail shipping, since I'm shipping it out letter mail and it's only Magic Singles, I get that coupon. Whenever you place an order for Magic Singles, you get 5% back in store credit. So that'll go on your account after your order has been placed. Alright, so my order looks good. All of my information is filled out properly. So now that I've done that, I can place my order. Do the survey if you feel like it. You don't necessarily have to do the survey. Any feedback that you can give us is really helpful, so I'd recommend that you do it if you have the time. And then once you're done that, you can go back to browsing the website. So this takes me back to the advanced search automatically. So if I click here, you'll be able to see um, any of the orders that I placed. So here's the date of the order. Uh, the order number, which we'll need if you have any questions or problems with your order. The total that I spent and that my payment was received, as well as all the cards that were in my order, how many I got, and how much uh, each card was. So there you see I have $1.25 less than my store credit, and I have one order that I placed. There's no real guarantee for letter mail since it's Canada Post, but generally you would receive your cards within, uh, I would say, about 4 to... 12 business days, about that long. Depends on where you live, of course, but generally about 4 to 12 business days. And if you ever have any problems or if you're wanting to know whether or not your order was shipped out or anything, you can always feel free to contact us and make sure that you're giving the, us the order number as well. Alright, so if you have any questions, again, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.